Hello everyone and welcome back to Hearthstone and the League of Explorers. I am Wishblade and it's time for the second wing, Uldaman. The vanilla instance of good old days. So, let's first have a look at the Explorer deck. A neat mix of some minions, some weapons, some spells, a nice mixture of both. Because we will be needing it for the first guy we'll encounter in Uldaman. Such loading times. Let us open the gates of Uldaman, or whatever is blocking our path. Da 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 da. Hail, fellow explorer. I'm Bran Bronzebeard, the League's founder. I've got a lead on the headpiece of the staff. It's somewhere here in Uldaman. Oh my! It's time to assist Bran Bronzebeard, the man himself. And the first boss is... Uldaman's infested with frogs. We'll have to fight through them to reach the headpiece. Chieftain Scarvash. With a hero power, Trocade Minions. Which is passive. Enemy minions cost two more. Swaps at the start of your turn. His other hero power is Trocade Spells. Same effect, but with spells, so... On the first turn, your minions will cost more. On the second, it's gonna be the spells. And then, it's gonna keep on doing that for the entire fight. Thus, you'll want a mixture of both minions and spells. And I don't think weapons are affected by any of these, so... I brought the weapons that I have. Let's get right on it, shall we? Excavating the evil, yes! The loading is taking a long time. Rexa versus Scarvash! Ultaman for the frogs only! Let the hunt begin! But I shall take Ultaman for myself, Chieftain. Fairly nice opening hand. Except, I can't use this. Scarvash was a wee trog last I was here. Now he's bigger, stupider, and uglier. Trog no stupid! Trog make you stupid! You gotta love trog sometimes. They're just so silly. But yeah, I can't use my web spinner right now because hero power. So... What you gonna do? Apparently, he's not gonna do anything. So let's risk it with a knife juggler. Oh! Well, bugger! Apparently, he has my own weapons. Damn! Yeah, and that's whenever a friendly secret. Back in the day, it was whatever secret, if I recall correctly. So that's a bit sad. Now. What kind of secret could that be? I can get one knife use out of this. But if it's explosive or snipe, then I'll lose my minion instantly. Hmm. Should we? Let's give it a go. So far, so good. And I hit my headset. Silly me. Again, so far, so good. So it's... Um... Snake trap, maybe? What other traps do I know? I know them all, I just can't remember them off the top of my head. That's a scary one. Fascinating. These mithril runes contain guardian code. They must date back to the Titans. Focus, Bran. Gotta love that Titan lore. Okay. So now it's spells. What do we want to do? Well, we don't want to cast any spells with that guy up, so... Thank you. Instead... Maybe we can get... If we're lucky, we'll hit the trog. Awesome. And I can use my weapon. 
and Web Spinner to take it out. Oh, hello, Acid Maw. Okay, so... Oh yeah, it's not Freezing Trap. It's not Misdirection. And it's not Snake Trap. It's not Bear Trap, it's not Explosive Trap, it's not Snipe. What? What the hell is that? I have no idea anymore. I'm gonna have an oh moment once that's revealed. Another one! Another! Slam glass into the table. Now you are so expensive. Okay, how to deal with that guy? I do still have my weapon and I have my Lebanon to take it out. So I could summon my animal companion as well. And my weapon. Now let's take this guy out. Animal companion. And Glaive Suka. Excellent. So far so good. Halfway there. But I'm sure he's got some surprises up his sleeve. Like this new shaman card. And we even get to see its effect right here and now. The Tunnel Trog. Whenever you overload, gain plus one attack per locked mana crystal. So if you use Lightning Bolt, you overload one crystal, it gains one mana. If you overload three crystals, you get three attack. I think I said you gain one mana. You don't. You get one attack. I am rambling. Now, what to do now? What to what to do now? Now, what to do now? I can't necessarily kill it. I can silence it. That might be a good idea. I could also throw the explosive trap out there, but I'm not sure it's really useful right now. I think I want to silence it for now. Silence it! That might come back to bite me in the arse, but whatever. It's the new one, obviously. There's the O moment. It's the Dart Trap, new card. When an opposing hero power is used, deal 5 damage to a random enemy. There you go. Ugh, I feel so stupid right now. <laughs> oh well, now that's out of the way. Uh oh And another new one, the Ancient Shade. Shuffle an Ancient Curse into your deck that deals 7 damage to you when drawn. So... Like I've said in my BlizzCon ramblings part 1 on day 1, I didn't really like this one. Yes, it might be slightly powerful, it's a 7-4 for 4, four but... I'm sure it can easily be taken out and then there's the curse thing. Not a fan. Let's see, maybe now is the time for the Explosive Trap. Some hero power. And, oh, I'm done. There you go. The Trogs have been annihilated. There's still more of them. This way, hero. Hop in the minecart. I will do this, Bran. We also get the Ethereal Conjurer, along with the Tunnel Trog. Battlecry discover a spell for the mages. Well, you heard the dwarf. It's time to hop in the minecart. This mine shop leads straight to the center of Uldaman. Awesome, that's exactly where we want to go. The minecart rush. Hero power. Escape, flee the mine, escape the trogs. And this is a special one, which I've been looking forward to. You'll see when we get there. Yes, hide the artifacts. We need them for Legion. So excited! Watch out, we're being chased! Well, that's a new way to start. We didn't even get a proper introduction. Oh. But yes, this is another escape encounter. Nine turns to escape, and we are the minecart hero. With all new sorts of things. 
Let's see if the hero power deal 3 damage to a random enemy minion. That sounds useful. Barrel forward, get one turn closer to the exit, restore 10 health, and draw 3 cards. Alright. So, let's try to get rid of some of that stuff over there. Well, it's weakened, so that's good. And... get some cards. Job done. Spiked decoy. That might have been useful instead of that hero power, but still. A 3-6 taunt can't attack. And that is an awesome decoy, just look at that. Look at that picture. That is the most amazing decoy I have ever seen. Uh oh. I do not like the looks of those guys. Still only two mana crystals? Oh. I don't like that. Well, let's put a taunt out there. Don't antagonize them, Brand, you silly bastard! Yeah, now I can hope that I'll get to destroy something here, but... I don't know. Or, actually, if I do hit either of these two, they will get weakened, and if they then attack my taunt, they'll die. He'll die as well, and he won't kill that, so thank god. These, at least I'll get rid of them. So many decisions now. This is all new and so exciting. Let's... We do have some repairs, so... Let's risk it. Well, that's one of them gone. So that's nice. Pottery! Ow! We're still good. We're still good. Mechanical parrot! Look, it has the explorer's hat. It looks so fancy. We can at least ta attack with that, so that's nice. But I think maybe we should get another decoy. And what else? Yeah, let's get this out there for some potential attacking. Ginny. Huh? Ginny Weasley? Maybe. Ginny Weasley has become a mechanical parrot. No, I don't think so. Wait. Well, at least now he only got one of them. And those guys got weakened, so that's nice. And I should probably heal by now. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, yeah, heal me, thank you. Another decoy, and get rid of some of that rubble. No debris, sorry. My bad. So many trucks, they're so pissed at me. I have a feeling I'm slightly... Doomed. Doom rhymes with boom. Deal 3 damage to all enemy minions. That sounds very useful. <laughs> and get rid of the strong guy. And repair. I think we'll repair. You're damn right it is. I'm slightly nervous, slightly, but it's fun. <laughs> I just now noticed the picture up there and turns to escape. That guy looks like he's having so much fun. Maybe that is me. You never know. Okay. I think we are going to need... Actually, I'm kind of doomed if I don't kill anything up there. Oh dear. Oh dear. I can risk that, and maybe one of these will die. If I don't, then I'm dead. Let's hope for a boom. There it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wait, wait. 
I'm still alive for now. But I don't think I'll... Wow. Deal 10 damage. That's a lot. Okay, now what do I do? Um... I have a feeling I'm slightly boned. I can use these, but that's only gonna get me to one turn to escape. I'll probably have to survive that round too, which I don't think I will. My taunt isn't really gonna do anything. It's gonna protect me from one of these guys, and then I'm doomed. Well, well, well. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything, so... What to do, what to do. Let's just barrel forward, see how it looks. There you go. And again. And thus, just like the temple escape, doom at the last turn. Aww. That picture looks awesome as well. Well, let's just go back in there, try this again. Decorating scarabs and building pyramids? Interesting. That's a lot of trogs. I really don't like all those trogs. Okay, so what do we do? One of my taunts will go down instantly. The other one will stay up just ever so slightly. I can also consult Bran, but... Shall we just put out taunts? Yeah. I don't know the best strategy to this thing. It's all new and different and strange. Well, I don't mind the debris. That's not so bad. Hello, boom. I could really use you. That'll take out all of these guys, so why the hell not? And I can destroy you. Goodbye. So far, so good. Good start. So angry. Alright. Let's get some cards, I think. Dynamite! And another boom. Alright. Let's see. One of these is gonna take three damage. My mechanical parrot will then be able to weaken that that one, or kill it, rather. And I got boom as well. I'm not sure I want to use this. I'd rather use this. Because if I use this, then maybe it hits this one. He'll then jump into that. They'll just trade and it's all gonna be nice and dandy. Uh, so many decisions, I don't know what to do! Minion. But I don't want to wait. I'd rather just kill you all. Oh. Thank you for weakening yourself. That's awfully kind. Okay. I can take out that guy. Actually, I can take it take out everything if I use boom and then my hero power. There we go. There we go. And boom. And it still lives. I probably should have done that first. Just so I was guaranteed to kill the other one, but thankfully RNG was on my side. It's a big one! And some debris. I can live with that. Okay. Let's get some cards. Another wee boom? A decoy. Just what I wanted. Yeah, let's get rid of the debris. Yes, it's going to die, but at least it'll weaken the gold. 
Barrel forward. Okay, I could use another boom and take out this one. This isn't as bad. The chasing truck, I can, I can live with that. But the golems, I'd rather get rid of them. Actually, I can kill everything again. Hero power and such. So, yeah. Boom. This is gonna die either way. Hero power. Now it's going much better. Still full health, no repairs. Another decoy? And what else? Shall we use some dynamite? Yeah, why not? Oh! Hopefully it wasn't part of the track that is in front of us. I suppose that would be kind of cool if you use dynamite and then some event is gonna happen because you actually destroyed part of the track. Well, let's see, I have barrel forward, so let's do it. Why the hell not? And... Dynamite. And I think we just won. We escaped the mine! Or the drugs, at least. Lost them. The headpiece is in the next room. New card, the Tomb Spider. Discover a beast. And the unearthed raptor. Look at that, so cute. Cute and undead. Choose a friendly minion. Gain a copy of its death rattle effect. Kinda interesting, if I do say so myself. Moving on to the final boss. Uh, the stone giant Arcanus has got the headpiece, but he won't give it up without a fight. Obviously. Arcades himself. The original end boss of Oldemon. With the hero power stone sculpting. Summon a two... Not, not a two. A zero two statue for both players. So I'm gonna have to go and do some changes to my deck, because I want to be able to make use of those statues and not let them sit around be worthless, so I'll be right back. Okay, I think I've come up with something that might be slightly useful. Some buffing stuff like Abusive Sergeant, Raid Leader, Shattered Sun Cleric, Defender of Argus, the new Anubisath Sentinel, and like in my previous deck, we didn't get to see it, but I got my Explorer's hat along. I think I should have that constantly, just because, you know, it's the League of Explorers, and I got the Explorer's hat. How can I leave for an adventure without my Explorer's hat, when I'm a hunter? Such a disgrace. But anyway, I think we're good to go. At least for an attempt, hopefully we'll succeed. Maybe? Hopefully? Let's find out. Don't break the staff for... When do they learn? Rexa versus Arcadus! Who dares the wrath of the Makers? Let the hunt begin. I dare the wrath of the Makers. I've always said, eventually the Titans are gonna come back to Azeroth and we're gonna fight them because they don't like us because we've tainted the planet or whatever. It's a theory of mine. Maybe it'll happen, maybe not. A servant of the ancient titans. Oh, the stories he could tell us. If he weren't too busy burying you in stone. And yeah, that's gonna happen every turn. Okay. Well, good thing I can do something with this. I have a lance carrier. What you want? I want you to buff this guy and then destroy this one. Aha! He's gonna have some special cards that will buff his statues and shatter statues to do damage. That's not gonna be pretty. And he has slam. Of all the things you could attack. I don't mind you destroying that one. Okay, let's see. 
my bow or more of these? If he's gonna destroy my raid leader, I sort of kind of want to wait until I have some more of these statues. But then again, if I have too many statues, he's gonna shatter them all and maybe deal some pretty hefty damage to me. But let's use the bow to destroy this one. Maybe I should have done something to buff this guy so he could be useful, but whatever. The decision has been made. Oh, I can do stuff over here. Secret rock. Paladin secret. Now, considering what happened in the Chieftain Scarvash encounter, I have a feeling I might know what that will do to me. I have a feeling. So, I'm not sure if I want to use anything at all, but I sort of feel like I have to. What wouldn't I mind losing? Not the raid leader, because that effect is just overall, but a battle cry effect. Not sure if I'd go around missing that, so let's give it a shot. Yep, the Sacred Trial. When your opponent has at least three minions and plays another one, destroy it. So I played a fourth minion, it got destroyed. I hunt alone. Let's get rid of you, and you guys can attack. So many statues! And there it is. Oh. Okay. Um... Why wouldn't you do 5 damage to me and not a minion? It was just a normal minion. It was a statue, it was gonna break anyway, so why not deal the 5 damage to me? Wonderful AI. Yay. Alright, the pit snake. Nothing I can do about that one yet. So, I can only throw something out there. I could use Unleash the House, I don't get much out of it, but I suppose it's something. I don't really want to lose any of these guys or waste a power shot on it, so. A single Hound will be able to kill that thing. Oh yeah, and it has charge, so I can kill it instantly. Boom. Then it's all good. Wanted, dead or alive. Are you a bounty hunter? Hello, Headcrack. You might be useful, actually. You could be very useful. Alright then. I'm not sure if I want to use Power Shot yet. Yes, I can deal some damage to both of these and destroy them and such. I could also use Unleash the Hounds. Unleash the hounds, hit both of them into this guy, hit crack him, just to get rid of him. Oh, that's to the enemy hero. Duh, I'm an idiot. Um. Well then, I'm sure I can allow it to live, for now. Then once he gets another statue, then I can use the power shot. But, might as well deal the three, not the three, the two damage to enemy hero and get head crack back. Why not? Uh oh. Hello, Earth Elemental. I don't like the look of you, good sir. Well, that wasn't very good. I did not anticipate an Earthen Elemental. Or oh, an Earth Elemental, not Earthen. Now what? Well, let's get rid of these. And... I suppose we'll have to try and buff this guy. So he can be slightly useful. We must cleanse the Sunwell. 
I don't think I want to attack just yet. If it stays alive, I can buff it slightly more with Raid Leaders. And possibly Glaive Sukan. And there is the buffing. Oh! It apparently buffs all his minions. Well. That sucks. Okay, I need to do something about this. Right now. Unleash the raid leaders! Okay, now I can destroy that. Thank you. Alright. So, let's get rid of... Let's use these guys for that. You can attack this guy. And what about you? Shall I buff one of you guys? Or deal two damage to the hero? If I use this now, I can hit him in the face, hit him again next turn. Use my other Glaive Suka, so yeah, let's do it. I'll take that one damage. I was kind of dreading this fight, but so far it's kind of cool. Another elemental. And that. Well, that's annoying. Ow! Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, let's see. I can get two... I have five. With that, it's gonna go up to six. With that, it could go up to seven. So I'll have to hit that thing right in the face. Oh dear. No. There we go. Another weapon. Let's make the raid leader super strong, even though it doesn't really matter. Attack with these guys first. Then, the raid leader. And might as well use head crack and steady shot. I feel I'm lacking some cards right now. And who knows what all the scary stuff he has lurking up there in his hand. Well, that's destroying all the statues. And now he hits me in the face. That clever man. Sort of, kind of. Okay. I can silence one of these guys. And I'll take two damage either way. Well, if I silence the direwolf, then I'll take two damage from the pit snake. So... I think we want to silence something. Let's silence. Um, bum, 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 bum. That. Hit that. Do a head crack. Steady shot. It doesn't really matter if I give my iron beak the explorer's hat. It's gonna die from the pit snake anyway. Then again, I'll get the explorer's hat back, so. Unless he some somehow silences it. So, why the hell not? I got an owl with a hat on. An owl with a hat. That's just amazing. Uh-oh. Okay, now that was just mean. And I feel slightly boned right now. What do I have? Two, four, seven, nine. Yeah. I don't think I have quite enough to deal with all the threats on the board right now. What to do, what to do. I think we're just dead. I don't think we have much else to do. So... Get rid of that. Do a head crack. Do a steady shot. Hit that in the face. And take the punishment.
So sad. The difficulty is ramping up. And now for the big decision. Do I go back and have a look at my deck again? See if I maybe have some solutions to those Earth Elementals? Because I have a feeling those were the ones giving me a very bad time. I think I will. Be right back. Alrighty then. I brought some freezing traps along and my good old Savannah High Main, replacing some of those, what was it, Shattered Sun and the Raid Leader, I believe. Yeah, because it's just, they give one attack, and or one attack, one health, so maybe it's not the most efficient thing ever. So, let's give it another go. Arcadus, I shall destroy you someday! I can promise you this. Rexa versus Arcadus. Who dares the wrath of the makers? Let the hunt begin. The hunt has indeed begun, and I have so far nothing to use on my first turn. That is so sad. But now I should get myself a statue. Crystal! Oh, a trap. Oh, so deadly. Alright, what to do, what to do. I suppose we'll use the Glaive Suka. Just take this out and attack. Maybe I ought to hold on to the Eagle Horn. Just until maybe he buffs some of these statues, or his minions in general. Because right now, sure, I can easily take these out, but... Okay. I can take this guy out, that one, and Animal Companion. Oh! Oh, look at that, two attack. How amazing is that? Hmm. Oh yeah, I can attack with this. Okay. You do that. I'll take care of this, and to the face. Thank you, Liag. You are a wonderful companion. Aww, oh, all my statues. And again, he hits a freaking statue with that thing. Why not Liag or me? Such a dumbass. I want to hold on to you, because I'd rather buff a statue and use it for something rather than Liag. So instead, explosive trap. Shall we put that out there right now? Hmm, sure. I'll risk him not attacking me right immediately. As to not waste the damn thing. You really have bad AI, good sir. Really bad AI. I'm just saying, it's kind of awful. Okay. Now what? I can use my Lance Carrier on Leog, take that one out. But I do kind of like having Leog around right now. So... Maybe use my bow and my Earthen Statue to take it out? I think we'll do that. And... A simple steady shot. Take this statue out. A nice clean board. Wanted, dead or alive. Rampage. I might be able to make some use of that. Maybe, maybe. All right. Let's have a look. See. I could use Leo to weaken that guy and rampage it. Maybe. Or use my Savannah High Main this turn. Yeah, let's get the Savannah High Main out. Then I will hit you, use my statue, and Leoc take the other statue out. Soon those elementals are gonna come. There it is! Now it's a good thing I have my Savannah High Main. I can take this guy out. Pretty darn fast. 
So I think we'll just do that. Get rid of it. Look at those lovely hyenas. So beautiful. Get rid of the statue. And... My other Savannah hymen. What you gonna do, Arcadis? I told you I will destroy you. And now I can't play a minion. Because I'm fairly certain it's gonna be... Another damn sacred trial. I'm sure it will be. So if I want to put something out there, it'll have to be something I don't really care much about. Abusive Sergeant, maybe. I could do that. Let's see... Let's get the bow out. Why the hell not? Yeah, sure. Abusive Sergeant to the statue. And the Sacred Trial. You take out the statue. Lance Carriers or Steady Shots? Hmm. I can use those for other statues, of course, so... Let's use one of them, just because. Why the hell not? I have a feeling he's going down this turn. Well, this next turn of mine. Oh, I am so scared. Hello, Shadow Word Death. So many minions. And there... It is victory for Rexa and Wishblade. Alderman has been conquered. Headpiece is ours. Only one piece to go. Awesome! And we get the fierce monkey. We've already seen this one. And the reliquary seeker. Battle cry. If you have six other minions, gain plus four plus four. One mana. One one warlock card. Would probably go well with all those Warlock cards that... Not Warlock cards, Warlock decks, where you want to have loads of minions. I don't know what they're called. Handlock? Or Sue? I can't remember. And for completing Ulderman, we also get Bran Bronzebeard. A 2-4 for 3 mana. Your battle cries trigger twice. Battle cry decks? Avoid! And Excavated Evil. Priest card. Deal 3 damage to all minions. Shuffle this card into your opponent's deck. Do a challenge and paladin challenge! For once the paladin challenge is not at the end of the adventure! They found the second piece. My plan is nearly complete. Hmm. It's that guy again. I have no idea who the hell he is. I'm sure it doesn't matter at all. Whatever plans he might be scheming. It's nothing. Time to do some challenges! And you all know how I love challenges, because I don't have to do anything regarding to decks. Starting with the Druid against Chieftain Scarbash. Malfurion versus Scarbash! Ultraman for frogs only! I must protect the wild. Indeed, you must, Malfurion. And already two new cards. The Jeweled Scarab. I think it's new. Discover a three-cost card. And the Fossilized Devil Sore. Battle cry if you control a beast. Gain taunt. Pretty neat. Yeah, let's keep the savagery around. But Devil Sore, you're a bit too expensive. Hello, Mulch. <laughs> Hello, Devil Sore again. How nice to see you. So I'm guessing maybe we're gonna have some beasties? Hello, Trog. Yeah, I think it's time for it. You will scare Magma Rager! The best card in the game! If you have a mech... I'm not sure if we're ever gonna have a mech. If you have a minion with spell damage gain plus two plus two, what's more likely for us to have? Mechs or something with spell damage? I have no idea. Let's go with this. Job's done. 
Indeed, job is done. Oh. Did a beam of light just hit the crystal? I think it did. That happened so fast. Alright. I'd really like to take care of this thing. Destroy a minion, add a random minion to your opponent's hand. That could be anything. And do I really want to use this on that guy? I'm not sure if I do. Yeah, well, it's just hero power. Not a major fan of druids in Hearthstone. It's not really my thing. Alright then. Tomb Spider it is. Discover a beastie. Hello. Hello, hello. Malorn, Savage Combatant, my Yexta? Oh, this is this is a tough one. What do I want most? Malorn is tempting just because it's legendary and everything. But maybe I'd rather have the Savage Combatant. Maybe. I'll get the combatant. And now I can kill that thing with my Tomb Spider. Rumbling Elemental. We did see that one, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I'm fairly certain we did. Hello, Starfall. Alright, now I want to take that thing out. You play a battle cry minion. Hmm. Do I want to mulch that one? Maybe I do. Just to get it out of the way. It does have a lot of help, so... It's like, what other good ways are there to destroy that thing? Let's get rid of that, first off. Now, well, let's do it. And some hero power. So far going a bit slow. Okay, now I'd rather not use a spell. Because, well, well, th then again, if I use a spell and I then kill it, it's not really gonna matter now, is it? So if I use mulch on that, it's just gonna die and be out of my way. But you will have some random minion and it could be anything, it could be something really scary. I could also use Savage Combatant and Hero Power it. Master of Ceremonies is kind of useless right now. Do I really want to mulch that? It, uh, my Savage Combatant could easily die, so... Uh, I don't know. But then again, next turn I won't be able to use it very efficiently or whatever, because now I could use it, use zero power, but... Yeah, I also have Savage Roar, so... I could use Savage Roar to use the spider against it. So many options! So many difficult choices. Because I'd really like to get rid of it. Then again, this is probably not a good thing to use right now. This might die, so... I don't know, let's put it out there. Huge toad. And... Hmm... Now do I want to weaken it, or do I want to hit him in the face? Oh, I'll hit him in the face, I'll take the risk! Live a dangerous life! Hello, Golem. I don't like the look of you. Hello, Knight of the Wild. Okay. Now what? I can kill that. I can mulch that. So... Let's do that. Mulch. Because 6-6. Six, six, not a fan. Hero power, and both of us attack.
Hello, Chillmore. Yeah, it's on with Death Rattle. If you're holding a dragon, deal three damage to all minions. Yeah, created by Mulch. I don't think he has a dragon somewhere up there. Hello, fossilized Devil Sword. You might be useful right now. Then again, I would like to take that thing out. I can do that with my hero power and everything. Hmm. So many decisions in life. But if I... Let this get destroyed, then I don't have my Devil Sore. Well, I don't have a beast to give a taunt with, and taunt does sound nice. So, what to do, what to do. Well, let's put it out there. Not gonna attack. Under secret. So maybe that's the dark trap again? It might very well be. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for somewhat healing my Devil Sword. That's somewhat nice of you. And I can kill that with Starfall now. That sounds like a pretty good idea, actually. Yeah, if I use my hero power, it's probably Dark Trap, and then it's gonna hit something. So, I don't know about that one. Well, let's get rid of you, first off. Because I really don't want to lose this, so I, because then I can use my other Devil Sword next turn. So instead, I think we'll just attack, not do anything else. Hello, Ancient Shade. Wanted, dead or alive. I really have no idea why he says wanted, dead or alive. It's not the first thing that comes to mind when you mention a spell slinger, but whatever. Hmm, can I kill him now? I think I can. Maybe. Let's see, two, two, six. Possibly. Ta-da! Druid challenge has been conquered! Ah, that was slightly fun. Mounted Raptor. We've spoken about this before. Yes, we have. Alright then. One challenge down, onwards to the Paladin. And I can imagine what's gonna happen here. Blessings, statues... Uther versus Arcadus! Who dares the wrath of the Makers? I will fight with honor. Told you so. Now, do I want to get rid of that right now? Maybe I do? I'll keep it in my hand, why the hell not? I don't know what else there is in this deck, so I'll keep it. Hello, Anubisath Sentinel. Mm -hmm. A wee little statue. Oh, and I got a sacred trial now. Alright then, what to do first? I think we'll buff you up. And destroy his statue. Get in there and fight, maggot. Again with the awesome AI. Just utterly brilliant. Okay. Shall we throw that out there? Maybe. Maybe it could be useful, I'm not sure. But then again, he has to have... He has to get up to three minions and then play something, so I'm not sure if it's really that useful right now. I think we'll take this guy out. Get a random minion there. And... See, this is one of the perfect things. This is just brilliant. Obvi why wouldn't you do this? If I decided to do whatever class for whatever, then obviously, yes, I'd go with something that really likes 
likes to buff like a freaking paladin for the Arcadus fight, obviously. Hmm. Do I want to use Sword of Justice or the Blessing of Kings? I think I'll want to use the Blessing of Kings. He'll have that because I don't want to use it on a statue because we all know he can destroy the statues. Sword of Justice, you can come out later. There it is. So sad. Oh, now that is brilliant! That was brilliant, good sir. Kudos. Kudos to you. That was a good move. That was a good move. The AI actually did something smart for once. My god. Utterly brilliant. Hmm. Apparently he doesn't give a shit about card draw. Hello, Bolvar. Alright then. Let's have a look. The Sentinel? Sure. And the Venge? Why the hell not? You can go attack. I don't want to use my sword. I like it to buff rather than attack. Flame Tongue! Wanted. Dead or alive. And we get Ancestral Knowledge. Draw two cards, overload two. Okay, now I think I want to use my Sacred Trial. Sounds like a good idea. And what else? Do I want to use my other Sentinel? Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Yeah, let's do it. And then... Shall we take that guy out? I kind of want to destroy one of the totem, well, not one of the totems, THE totem. And I can't do that, obviously. Now, of course, now there's a chance that it's gonna buff the other sentinel, so that was kind of dumb, maybe. But, let's see. Awesome, awesome. And go for the face. Now, whatever he plays is going to die. Minion-wise, at least. Unless, of course, he does something else. Oh, you took my sentinel. That's not very nice. Okay. We can risk it and hope he doesn't shatter all my statues. In a way, I don't want to use this, then. Just because, well, if... If this guy is out and all these aren't, then only this one is gonna get buffed. So, nah, 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 nah. Bolvar, nah. Let's get some cards. Another Sword of Justice. Ooh, and Seal of Champions. Let's get the sword, and... Do I want to destroy any of these, or just hit him in the face? Yeah, I'll take the risk and hit them in the face. So many secrets! Alright then. Shatter time? No! Earth and Elemental. Oh. Why do I keep saying Earth and Elemental? Whatever. At least it's gone now. Competitive spirit! Beautiful! Ooh! New card, Keep of Ultimon. I think that's the reward we're gonna get. Battle Cry set up minions attack and health to 3. So this could be useful to either weaken something or buff something that's not as powerful. Like this guy, maybe. So let's see. Yeah, why the hell not? And you can have this too. And attack my minions. Victory for the Paladins! That was a fun one. That was a really good one. There it is, the Keeper of Uldemon. Okay, Uldemon has been conquered. The Challenges has been conquered. So next week, we're gonna move on to the next wing. The Ruined City, wherever that may be. Who knows? So, 
Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, see you later.